One of the greatest mysteries to ever have graced the planet. Now, if you have not seen the news, Tupac Shakur, a rapper from the 90s. He did a lot of hit songs. He was probably one of the, uh, definitely one of the, the top ones up there of the time. I mean, personally, I'm not a huge fan. I like, you know, the mainstream ones. I like a few of them. I also respect that he influenced and drove what the modern day rapper and modern music really did. But uh, someone, so they're nearly 30 years later. So it happened in 1996. It's 2023, nearly 30. 30 years later, they have found the person. God knows how, but we're going to investigate. Let's go, Scooby-Doo! For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis. 60 years old, bro. Man thought he got away with it. He's probably spending his millions and whatever he did, he was a gang leader. I know that he was very much into crime. He probably, he's been sat there hanging out with a few pals of his and saying, I killed Tupac. And none of them would believe him. They all thought he was taking the PI stake here. They all thought he was taking the you-know-what and he actually did it. How did they find evidence? How did they get any sort of clue it was to him? Well, I'm sure we'll find out. AKA Keefy D for the murder. Bro, sorry to keep interrupting. Keefy D is your nickname. If I spoke to someone called Keefy D, I don't think I'd be able to keep a straight face. Keefy D is not a name of significant threat. You hear Keefy D, you go, oh, is, it, is he someone who throws kids parties? Is he an entertainer for the little children? Tupac Shakur, who's wearing his, a shiny satiny shirt with Marion Suge Knight, who's a large man in a brown suit, punching and kicking Orlando Anderson. Following this incident... You'll see hotel security intervene. In this case, the only living suspect related to this investigation is Dwayne Davis. All so there's probably a few of them and they're all dead because the police took so long to really, they go, they're just, you can just picture them sat at the desk drinking coffee, eating donuts, maybe shoving some up their butt cheeks and just thinking, hmm, what, what case files have we still got? Oh God, it's getting big. Oh, we've got a whole office of them now. Oh, I'll get in there and find that Tupac one. I like his music. Let's see. That's what would have happened 30 years later. He goes, oh shit, there's a bit of CCTV here. Oh shit. They're getting in a Fight. Oh God, he's he's killed him. Yeah, he's he's probably the guy. I mean, how long? Why is it taking so long? How does it take so long to come to this conclusion? Tupac, one of the living legends in music, in modern music, not so modern anymore. He has been dead for nearly thirty years, twenty-seven years, thanks to the man in the brown fucking what shirt, whatever you call it, for doing the mask. He's been dead that long, and now, now they've come to a conclusion of how it's happened. It's obscene. It's not like it was DNA evidence. It's not like it was you know new technology that came out yesterday that's allowed them to solve the murder. Not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside while still alive. Never surrender. Thanks to the great work of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. We didn't surrender. No, you didn't, but you took 30 years to get there. The US police, the US police have been, have charged the gang leader of a 1996 murder. Okay. It took 27 years because he was shot four times uh, at the age of 25 as well. So he was very young by drive-by attack in Las Vegas. We have just seen the video that they're using as evidence. Where has that video been? Did someone just fucking drop it? Someone brush it under the desk and they finally retired and then the person who moved in and goes, holy shit, holy shit, what's a cassette for two packs murder? They pop it in. They have to go to the bloody store. They have to go next door to the 1990s office, see what other equipment they got. They can't even load it up on their no computers. They plug it in. Holy shit, they your answer. I mean, why is it taking so long? Why is it taking so long for them to get this? This is a joke. You know, Tupac, in my opinion, is one of the game changers. Recent of recent memory, he is he's like a Nirvana. People who came in and changed the music scene, and he got no respect because he was black. I can guarantee the police did nothing about. It. They didn't give a shit. Now all the racist cops have you know retired in the past week. They go shit. We should probably take a look at a few of these uh, old case files we have just sat there in the old uh, racist column. A retired LA police detective spent years in investigating the murder and he said he's not surprised by Mr. Davis's arrest. All the other conspirators are or participants are all dead as well. Fucking hell. Cheers for getting them justice, mate. They've they've gone to their grave absolutely clapping their hands. Oh, Alright boys, we got away with it. Bye right, then. Hand, hand five all round. Now let's uh, sit in our retirement home and just fucking chill out here. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder what his parents have to say. The family, his mother, I know she was very big. Jeez, look at that bloke. Jeez, man. Keffy D. Dwayne Keffy D. Davis. You got some hella jeans, bro. Look at that shit, man. Look at that shit. There was a retaliation shooting due to the fact that they were in a casino and they had a bit of a scuffle, had a bit of a falling out. So he, it took until 2018 for that police, fat police officer to retire and give his old case files across to the new 
new one and go, holy shit, there's a lot of black files here. It's like, oh, don't worry about them, Mike. Yeah, no, I didn't fucking look at them. I fucking don't like the black people. And you're like, Jesus, Rob, you've retired. Yeah, I still don't fucking like them. I don't know what I'm doing in Australia. like, yeah, Mike. Nah, fucking American. What do they sound like? Well, so you got to understand the black people, they, they are my favorite. So uh, most of the cases I'll be giving you are of black people because I just don't quite like looking at it. As soon as I spoke like that, you exactly knew what type of police officer. Fucking sheriff's hat, glasses, fucking pistol on the side, big ass belly, goes to the same cafe every morning for five sausages, five pieces of bacon, egg and a hash brown. Dwayne Geffy D has been caught. Who, you know, what's taking it so long? He, he released his first debut album in 1991 and he sold 75 million records worldwide, man. 75 million records worldwide. That's huge. Now, Tupac was a man of wisdom, a man of many things. Let's take a look at his. Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside while still alive. Never surrender. To me, that doesn't make any sense, but okay, I respect it. I'm not perfect, but I'll always be real. Hell yeah, home dog. Fist bump. Pay no mind to those who talk behind your back. It. All right, it's half a cut. If you don't know me, don't judge me. Look, I, I thought that we were going to have some really inspirational uh, quotes from Tupac here. Look, he was a great rapper, great artist. He is truly someone who was missed, and it shocked the world when he was killed. I know a lot of people love his music still and relate to it, and uh, I'm glad that the pricks, D. Keefe or whatever, bloody Keffy D, has been brought to justice all these years later. I mean, he must be furious. He must think, oh my God, I thought I got done it. I got away with it, and to, if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your dumb dog i would have got away with it i would have done it don't you understand bloody keffy d what a shite name as well embarrassing at least two packs got you know some originality it's something that you could see would trend last and it has lasted keffy d keffy d bloody hell mate i've he must have just literally shut a dictionary pick two words i mean keffy that's not even a real real word is it is keffy a real word Keffy a real word i don't think keffy's a real word no his name's duan Dway duan davis duan davis keffy d how tragic how embarrassing for you and he he, he must be absolutely fuming oh got away with it for 27 fucking years i did and well, look at i just want to show this again look at this police officer when he speaks he seems really in pain look at his fingers and look at his like demeanor He's sweating, profusely red. He's tapping like a crack addict who needs his fix. He's absolutely dripping. He's even extremely racist or is someone who is far too keen on this. I I, I can't work it out. Maybe he's like, I fucking can't stand this. Solving black crimes. They should do it them fucking cells, mate. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Brilliant news for everyone involved, especially his family. His mother, I know, was a big advocate of when he died. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. See you guys later.